Good morning. It is Monday. I've got orders to ship. Wanted to talk to you about a couple of things and give you an update about a few of the things that we've found and were they a good deal or not. Give me just a minute. I'll get right back with you after I get set up. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Max. I am the fast talking flipper. Angie is my better half. She's my girlfriend. She's the uh, behind the scenes kind of deal. Right now, she's out looking for my dog. My dog is lost. He got out this morning. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, fenced in area. And uh, if the fence is open, he finds a way and he gets out and he's gone and we don't know where he's at he's been gone for about 45 minutes now so she's out looking for him uh i had things to do i have to be a, a responsible adult look at me adulting but uh we are resellers and we buy low sell high go to yard sales estate sales thrift stores wherever find a deal and sell it online usually on ebay but sometimes we sell other places and we're starting to get into uh, looking at other places to sell as well uh th today i've got 15 orders going out so it wasn't a bad weekend on ebay this is since uh friday afternoon 15 orders for 629 dollars still on the low side I i'd want to see 24 25 um, but i can't complain about these it's mostly newer stuff that was listed that um that is getting sold and that's kind of worrisome a little bit to get right into it the first thing that has sold is total body total fitness station this is a open box um, we got this for a dollar at a uh, rummage sale and it is um it's just one of those workout kits it's in q4 back here yeah boy i don't know q4 is so ah, there it is down there i think i think that's it yeah look at that oh that's heavy i must have weights in it it's not heavy heavy but it's it's heavier than i anticipated looks like it's going to be easier to ship than i thought because i thought it was going to be bigger than this so um yeah that guy 39.99 i want to say uh, we might have might have gotten that in the reseller a lot now that i say it now that i see it um i do believe that's where we got it so we got that for free from our friend in lebanon indiana and i drove up and picked up a storage unit full of stuff that she was just giving away to get out of her storage this here, a Sony PlayStation multi-tap. This is a um, one of those multi-dongle things where you can, D4 is where it's going. And you can plug in more than two controllers so that you can play multiple people on your, your game. I, I need to get lights back here. I keep saying it and I get distracted and I never do it. So I, I need to get back here and get this done. It just needs to happen. I am not seeing this immediately in here. It says D4. Am I looking right at it? That's it. Yeah, I am looking right at it. Uh, right angles are hard when you see them in other directions. So that's it right there. You can do multiple uh, controllers, multiple memory cards, uh, an older piece. I don't know where we got that particular one. It probably came in one of our lots, but looks like it sold for $19.99 plus shipping going out the door there. The next one, L3, is a cologne lot. Um some of our first colognes that we bought but it's a clone lot of three these are lesser dollar colognes and that's why we we sold them together just to get them you know lotted up and gone and that's what's been working with them so i think that it should be here in the front it is oh yeah the last video i think uh maybe i talked to you guys about that already i did talk to you about it already it's everything blends together when you're having fun I talked to you about it already, how I screwed up and I put the wrong colognes in the wrong place. Uh, luckily, those two have been more than willing to work with me on that stuff. Uh, I, I sent out the other one. I never heard from the second guy. There's those three. They sold for $24.99 plus shipping. If you average it out by the piece, I had too much in those. I have $30 in them if you average it out by the piece, give or take. Um, but, you know, some of the bigger hitter colognes sold for you know a hundred dollars and to compare like this next one came from that lot here uh opium by yeah however you say that eve saint lauren lawrence laurent there you go it sold for 49.99 i have ten dollars into that cologne as well um so that makes up for the loss on those of getting rid of those but luckily those two guys were more than happy to work with me and i think if they haven't I haven't looked, that's not it. I have not looked um, yet to see if the other guy has shipped it yet. I have, He might not have received it yet. 
but uh, they should be fixing that for me. Um, you know, sending the colognes to the rightful owner. Did, is that all I sold this weekend? Is colognes? It feels like that's all I sold. Here's a fun one. <laughs> and I am Maroc, Mar Maroc Ultima 2 Perfume Spray. If you want to do a bolo, boy, this would be a good one because this is 0.28 ounces it sold in hours literally hours for $34.99 and they made a funny in there and I'll, I'll read that to you here in just a second it's this little good no it's not that little guy Doo -doo -doo -doo. it's this other little guy that's also green there we go that one looks like new in the box which is unusual considering it's it's old and there's not this is it's worth it's literally worth its weight in gold um 0.28 ounces for $34.99. If you had a 3.3 ounce bottle of that stuff, it would be something along the lines of like 200 and something dollars. Apparently somewhat desirable. But uh, please do not attach any tape or saran wrap directly to the bottle or the retail box as both can accidentally ruin vintage items. Please pack in a, it says over here, which I have it zoomed in because I'm half blind. Please pack in a very sturdy box to thwart the gorilla who works at my post office. Thanks so much. So apparently the gorilla family is rooted deep within the post office, uh, you know, conglomerate. And there's a gorilla that works at every, nothing to say against, you know, the gorilla family, but uh, they are a little heavy on boxes. So that person knows that there's a gorilla that works at their post office and they're asking nicely to have something uh, against that and that's where i wanted to get into the subject here um a couple people have asked where i get my shipping supplies obviously the post office stuff comes from the post office we order all this stuff and we have it in bulk even this here if you didn't know you can order those by the hundred the bubble wrap envelopes the um not bubble wrap, but the bubble mailer envelopes from the post office. And those are the priority flat rate bubble mailers. We order them by the hundred. They come in in a big box. They're easy to store. This stuff just comes in in the package. You order it by the quantity. We've got a whole bunch in the music barn. Uh, but this stuff, we get this locally and they do sell online. These are better boxes. Like you can just tell that these are better boxes. Put them side by side. You can see how much better of a box this stuff is than this this is flimsy it's it's prone to damage it works but man i don't know i just don't feel confident with it in a lot of stuff this stuff is heavily corrugated it's a very more much more dense these weigh you know size for size they weigh more which is going to give you more confidence that this is going to protect your box but the company is called am alpha mike shipping supply Alpa Mike Shipping Supply, AM Shipping Supply, uh, so named because the owner, uh, a, a fine gentleman who just passed away a couple of years ago, Andy, I think he passed away last year, matter of fact, Andy Motors, his, uh, he was a longtime auction goer and he was one of the first people that I met when I started going to auctions and became an auctioneer and he was one of my bidders. He loved coming to our auctions. He loved having a good time and uh, his son has since taken it over and now his son and his wife um, do the main working there. Wonderful people, can't say enough good things about them. They, if you're local to Cincinnati and you order, I think it's like $75. If you order, they will deliver it to you for free, for free free and that that's it might take a couple days to get it to you because they have a truck that comes out to you but uh they ship it for free locally they do mail you stuff if you want to have a big order put together or if you want to drive in you can just go to their warehouse there and i guess it's like golf manor roselawn area um but wonderful people yeah, i think i said it before i'm having issues with my floor and i think that this door is leaking which is not fun because yeah that's that's coming up I'm not happy. I think my floor is shrinking right here, and I think it's causing problems. These are the trials and tribulations of building your own shed. Ah, we bought this, and when we first got it, it would leak. The door would leak in this corner, and when, when it would leak, it would run down the front of the door and come in underneath the, uh, the seal. Well, the seal was broken, so I put a new seal on it, and I think it's still leaking, but now I can't see it because it goes underneath the floor, and I think that the floor is absorbing it and causing the floor to shrink or swell because I can feel the edges of the these each one of these boards. Like each one of these boards, I'm not wearing socks because I've been out looking for my dog. So don't judge me. And these are my yard shoes because I've been out looking for my dog. I miss my boy. Um, but each one of the edges of these boards is like swollen up and you can feel it. Uh, I did cheap out on this floor, I will admit. Yeah, it's definitely 
separated there. I, I did cheap out on the floor. I went with the cheapest stuff I can find, and I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I know it was cheap, and I guess that's kind of what I get. <sighs> now I'm hearing police sirens off in the distance. Even freaking better. What a day, what a day. <laughs> Next item. Um, Cincinnati Reds men's shirt. This was probably a Nike dry fit. Yeah, it's a Nike dry fit. $19.99. $9.99. Let's get that right. $9.99 plus shipping. One of the first items I ever got from yard sale. I think I paid like a quarter for it or so. It's been here for a hot minute. Um, and, you know, you go to yard sales and you get to the point where you're like, all right, I've been here for 15 minutes because there's stuff here. But, ah, because okay. there's stuff here. You can't see anything because I need to do the lights. I'm going to put you down for a second. Hey, look, I'm back. Oh, and I'm running into stuff. My Red's dry fit shirt. Already got it uh, packaged because this was one of the first things. And when we first started getting started and doing this, so we weren't sure how things were going to work. So we packaged some stuff just to get a feel for how it was going to, you know, work, how sizes and weights and all that stuff. But when you're at a yard sale for a long time and you're finally like, I need to buy something to make this worth my while, that was what, what it was uh, a quarter, 50 cents into uh, $9.99. Next one, same deal. I was at a thrift store. It was there for quite a while and it was kind of out of my way. Uh, it's Grease and it's the soundtrack from the movie Grease. Paid a dollar for it. But it was like, I, I know it's going to sell and it's going to sell quickly. I think it was listed for 12 hours or so. This is my stack of records. I need to bring my um, my record bin in here so that I can actually store my records rather than have them stacked up like that. Records are something that I've been getting more into because now I understand them more. But uh, the Grease record here, not in great shape. In better shape and probably sell for more, 20 bucks maybe. But the grease record turned a dollar into $9.99 and it sold quickly. So can't complain for that one. Another cologne. Jeez, old pizza. Uh, vintage Evening in Paris cologne. This person sent us some questions. Hey, this bottle looks like it might have cologne in it. Does it have cologne in it? Please let me know about cologne. Yeah. So finally, I... Uh, I told them, you know, this is cologne. They, they asked a bunch of questions before I had a chance. It's in there somewhere. I'm going to set you down because I'm too short. See, this is me looking at the thing. I'm too short to figure it out with holding you. So give me just a minute here. I'll get it out. Guys, I learned a magic trick. You can look underneath there. It was right here. Look at that. See, it's blue. <laughs> Learning things all the time. That one there, it came in my lot of uh, perfumes and colognes that we bought the other day at the auction. I did a video on it. Um you can see we're still going through them we're getting down to the nitty-gritty trying to figure out what's good and what's not uh we haven't put in a ton of work out here lately and it shows because we've only had 15 sales which we should have had 25 but uh with that you know it is it is what it is we've just been busy we've been busy trying to do other things so it sold uh i don't know what you would attribute the cost to it but i gave 80 dollars for a bin that had about 20 of these kind of things in it um some of them like this one was in i gave 120 for two different boxes i still have all of these larges left to go through haven't looked at anything except for the chanel this is a vintage chanel number five um, I was able to find all the pieces that go in it and put it together, but we haven't really looked up any of that stuff. It should do fabulous. I think total the $120 investment, we will probably be in the $1,000 range. Probably. That's my guess because we had listed before, well, I don't know how to say it. We had listed $350 and then we listed probably 15 more items and I'm going to guess that each one of the 15 was somewhere in the $10 range. So that's 500. And I still have all that that you see to list and all this. I think the Chanel by itself is going to fetch well over $100 because it's a vintage formula. Vintage formulas of perfumes. If you see perfumes out and about, try to figure out what they are, especially if you see them at an estate or you get the feel that someone is liquidating a family members, older stuff, that kind of stuff. So you know, take, take a look at what they might have because that some of the vintage formulas can go through the roof. Like I said, this one, if you can find that, that is a vintage perfume and that can bring tons of money and no one's going to think anything of this at an estate yard sale. They would just give that to you for a quarter. So can't beat that at all. Next one, Micro Machines, Highways and Byways, Country Junction, 1999 It is not a complete set. It goes for $19.99 plus shipping. Uh, going to go back here and find it in H2. Should be fun because I think... There's a whole bunch. 
Yeah, I have no idea. Highways and byways. Holy cow, somebody labeled it. Look at that, right there, right on top. That's beautiful, that's how you do that. When you have a whole bunch and you don't know exactly which one's which, that's perfect. Um, and I, you know what? I think the previous owner actually did that to make it easier to figure them out. Uh, I gave $40 for a bin full of these kind of guys. I think we listed maybe $200 worth of stuff. So not a bad deal, but not a greatest. Sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Easy ship your shipper there. This guy didn't last long. Vintage General Electric flip number clock. It's on my shelf. Boo! That means I have to sell an item. See, I like my little display shelf. I feel like Chris, old school picker here. Magical editing! We'll show you what that means. But uh, he is a, a buddy that I like to watch. He's um, a good seller down in Tennessee, and he has a little display shelf. But some of that stuff, I just I don't want it to go away because it looks cool sitting on the shelf. That guy, I got it in a box. I haven't went through the box at all. I picked it up off the top, and Angie listed it. It came in this box here at a yard sale, or yard sale, at an auction for $2. So it sold for $24.99, didn't last long at all. And uh, going out the door there, so not a bad flip, not a bad flip at all. Next, Icon Professional S-shaped wrench set. Hmm, Icon. Icon is it is Harbor Freight's uh, upper end tools, and Harbor Freight sells, generally speaking, junk tools. Um, I don't buy a lot from Harbor Freight. I was a mechanic one day before I was a auctioneer, and then before. Um, I actually owned a car stereo store. Let's go back on some history. I think, uh, whew, God, annoying noises. Chris, Chris gave some history this week about what he did. I was a, uh, I owned a car stereo store in the late 90s, early 2000s, and that's how I got started in mechanics. I went in the military as a mechanic and got out as a mechanic. I have a degree in mechanics, icon, uh, tool set. And I have a ton of tools. I have just an absolute ton of tools. Icon is not a brand that I would normally buy because it's like mid-grade. Um, but generally speaking, if you're going to be buying along the lines of Harbor Freight tools, this would be a good upgrade. This set here is an S-shaped wrench set for getting into tight places. Uh, sold for $44.99. I don't remember exactly what I... I probably have 20 bucks into it, so I have too much into it. But it was something different, and it was something to change things up, and it does make a profit. So that is what it is. What the hell is B7? I don't know what that means. Uh, I think this is still inside. That's why. Uh, Farberware. The Farberware is 12, 13. Yeah, this is huge. This is a very large box. I don't remember where we got it. I think we got it for a dollar, though. I know we don't have much in it. We don't have anything more than $5 in it. It is a big uh, coffee urn. It's an electric coffee urn. And it's like a display piece. It went for $49.99. I'll have to get that inside because it's still inside. I, I can't go get it, and I'm not going to run inside just now. Revere Wear Whistling Tea Kettle. Got this at, ooh, I think I got this at Goodwill. It was one of those things where it sold for $19.99. Um, again, you go to, to some places, and finally you're just like, I need to buy something, man. I've been here too long. I need to buy something to make some money. Not uh, the biggest money maker. Revere Wear. Little tea kettle. It's a cute little guy. What do you think? Uh... Yeah, it looks like it was written on at the bottom, at the bottom there. But Angie got it off a little. So, Revere Wear, little tea kettle, $19.99 plus shipping, so can't complain. I do have $3 into it, so you know, not the best, but still, I'm making, you know, after everything's said and done, probably 10 bucks, give or take, after taxes and everything. So, yeah, and it didn't take hardly any time to, to do that either. So, last one is... Uh, Dane Craft rose shaped man. I tell you what, I looked these things up and I, I probably had 15 minutes into trying to find these guys. Here they are. Rose shaped perfume bottles is what they are. Someone's calling. Spammers. That's who it is. Spam people like to call me. Because <clears throat> my phone number is public since I have a business. These two Dane Craft rose shaped perfume. They're old, they're vintage. Hard to find. We could only find one on Worth Point, and it sold in 2013 for 20 bucks. So we put these up for $39.99. They came in our little lot of, I don't think, well, I think one was in here, was in the $80 bin, and then another one was in the box where all this stuff was for 40 bucks. So they came out of the $120 total 
um, investment. And they sold for $39.99 plus shipping. So not too terribly bad considering like these two were in, I'm looking, trying to think, these three, these total three right here. There we go. All three of these came out of the $120 investment and we've, I think we just got started on listing these since the last video. So what, 34, 13, and 39, 40. So you got 75, 65, excuse me, 78, $78 out of the 120 total. I like to keep these in order because that keeps my labels somewhat in order. But, you know, 78 bucks out of your $120 investment already coming back. I knew that they would be slow sales, so I, I had to anticipate that. I normally don't like to spend that much on slow selling items, but we're in need. We are in need of inventory to keep things fresh. So I was more willing to do it. Uh, normally, I, something like I knew it was going to take six months, a year to totally get my money back. I would want to stay at like the 10% ratio. I think overall we hit that number, but it's still, it's one of those like, I don't know if I really wanted to do. It was a complete yes. So that's that. Um, guys, remember, I need you to be public if you want to, well, not public, but be able to be seen when I go to look for who's subscribed to the channel to do the giveaway. I want to give you guys money. I'm going to give it another week before I go out and do it. Um, but I can't, I looked at who's subscribed to the channel and there's only 42 out of 122. So I can't figure out how to give the other 80 a chance to win unless you want to, you know, comment down below. But then it's like only the people that comment are going to win. So it's one of those things. Um, I'd rather do it that way because that gives me more in the, uh, the YouTube matrix kind of deal. Anywho, anywho, that's that's kind of what it is. But remember to uh, like and share and subscribe and do all that stuff. Uh, I do appreciate you guys being around. That's the video that I've got for you today. So until the next time, I will see you on the next video.